it's not always about price, it's actually what the quality of the meat is. So the benefit we're working with a, a large supermarket chain like Morrison's, we've, uh, we've got the ability to get a lot of data back on making sure that we're hitting the specification which suits their customer with regard to tenderness, eating quality and carcass, carcass weight. In turn, the benefits that we've seen on farm is uh, generated more profits so other breeders who have actually came here and seen what we're doing through the multiplier agreement has made their businesses more profitable as well. So I think that the critical thing is, is that to get that product right requires a very close relationship across the whole supply chain because from the time that, well from the genetics for starters, but from the time that calf is born to when it's finished, it all plays a role. Uh, we formed the Beef Improvement Group in our quest to uh, develop a more efficient suckler cow dam line. Uh, the, other, the other factor was really we wanted to produce uh, or create a beef breeding program which would operate without the support of subsidy. We can save a lot of costs through the chain. The producer can save his costs, we can save costs. And what we're saying to any of our partners is, is that you know, if we collectively can create value, um, then we can share that as a premium. This is what David Evans saw. He saw the fact that we were sort of working closely with these farmers. They're all sort of forward-thinking farmers. They're all thinking with the same hat. It is a, a system which is highly productive. Breeding cattle, using bulls young, getting heifers in calf young, killing cattle young at 20 months. You know, it's rolling the whole thing over quicker, more profit, less CO2 emission. <laughs>